What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, I wanna share with you one of the craziest finds I have seen in a while. We know that there was a whole bunch of sketchy stuff leading up to the time where Ethereum got a free pass by the SEC and Ripple got sued. Well guys, in this video, I wanna show you some crazy evidence that shows that the Ethereum Foundation and Consensus were directly working with the SEC to pass legislation to give Ethereum a free pass and slam the door on every other crypto project out there. Guys, I wanna show you something in this video that is going to blow your mind, so make sure to stick around for this whole thing. Like always guys, your support means so much to this channel. If you wanna see more videos just like this, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below and turn on bell notifications notifications. These three simple things will go such a long way in helping this channel grow, and it really does mean so much to me. If you guys are ever looking for a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out the link for Uphold down in the description below. Uphold is one of my favorite exchanges and a great place to buy and sell XRP. With that said though guys, let's jump right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy the update. So guys, real quick, Moomoo is running an absolutely insane promotion right now that could win you guys a ton of money. If you sign up with Moomoo right now using the link in the description of this video, you could win up to 15 free stocks and your chance of actually winning an Apple share are doubled if you sign up today. Also guys, Moomoo is a great exchange. They're regulated. They have some great products to help you guys trade stocks. So make sure to check that out and definitely sign up with Moomoo if you want 15 free stocks. So guys, let's jump right into the video and I want to start off with something pretty important because I have seen a ton of XRP FUD going around as of recently and I want to show you guys something really important, something everyone needs to understand because it's going to give you a much better perspective on it. First of all though, I want to share with you something that happened earlier today that was actually hilarious because it's going to show you how powerful the XRP community really is. So earlier today, we actually had a co-founder of Ledger go on a TikTok and say that XRP is a centralized garbage cryptocurrency. Now, this guy was actually the former CEO of Ledger, so this obviously got a ton of attention. I want to show you guys what happened, though, because I think the reaction might actually shock you. So obviously, I and a bunch of other people in the XRP community were pretty pissed off when this came out. So I tweeted out at Ledger, is it concerning that the founder of Ledger doesn't know cryptocurrency basics? What other important security aspects does Ledger not understand? And I know Ledger is very secure. I was more just taking a shot at them, seeing if I could get a reaction, because obviously I was pretty pissed off that the former CEO was running around making crazy baseless accusations against XRP. And guys, for that reason, I felt like it was kind of justified just to take a shot at Ledger. Well, actually, I got a ton of responses and it made me a little more confident in Ledger itself. They were responding to a bunch of people saying, look, this is one guy's view. Obviously, we are not behind it. We are a supporter of the XRP community for a long time. So please don't listen to him. Obviously, we're mad about this too. And honestly, I really like this reply from Ledger because they're making it very clear that this guy just went rogue. They don't share any of his same views and they make it very clear that they have been supporting XRP for a long time, which they have been. So I wanted to tweet back in response to them because I didn't want to FUD Ledger. I just wanted to make them take back the statement, which they did. And I said, Ledger is a good product and was an early supporter of XRP. I do not believe they purposely funded the project. On the other hand, what a bonehead comment made by this guy, the guy who made the TikTok, he was the former CEO, and I said clearly such a moronic comment would jeopardize the reputation of Ledger. Good thing he's no longer CEO. And guys, what do you know? This guy actually responded to my tweet, kind of cool, and he said yes, this was a moronic comment, I agree. And guys, I have to give the guy some credit. I don't think he really meant this when he apologized, but at least he's apologizing, admitting he's wrong, something Charles Hoskinson has never done. I went on to say, many in the XRP community will appreciate this, even though you probably don't mean it. The XRP community has been through enough. Thanks for taking the moral high ground here, most wouldn't. And guys, the important point to point out here, and I think this is the most critical part of this entire story I was telling you guys, is that the XRP community can make people like this fold. Guys, let me tell you right now, this guy would have never taken back these comments if it wasn't for us putting pressure on him. The reason he took back these comments was because everyone reached out to Ledger and said, hey, we're going to stop using your product unless you make this guy apologize. And guys, what do you know? This second, he is no longer financially incentivized to be fudding XRP. He immediately takes everything back. This is why I don't really believe he meant this apology, but I'll still take the fact that he did it. 
He even went to some other influencers and said, yes, I was completely lying when I said XRP is centralized. It's not. And guys, the most important part you need to take away from that is people will just say random things if they're financially incentivized to do so. Before everyone was giving him crap, he was financially incentivized to FUD XRP because he probably holds Bitcoin. He's probably a Bitcoin maxi and he had no repercussions for FUDing XRP. But the second he got attacked and his reputation at Ledger was in jeopardy, he instantly takes back all his comments and admits that XRP is not a centralized cryptocurrency. It's completely crazy, and I just want you guys to remember this kind of stuff whenever you see FUD in the future. I saw this by Darren Moore Jr., and it's just a random Google ad, and it says, don't buy Ripple, buy these crypto coins instead. And guys, what this shows you is different people are being paid to FUD Ripple and XRP. The reason why I go over this and spend so much time on this is because I don't want people getting fudded out of XRP for blatant lies like this. Guys, if you lose hope in XRP because you don't see the technology being adopted, if the chain starts failing and things just aren't working the way they're supposed to, or say you just get uninterested in cryptocurrencies and are ready to move on, those are all fine reasons to sell XRP and no one should tell you what to do with your money. That's your choice. But the important thing that I don't want to happen is I don't want people to see fake FUD like this and get scared out of their XRP investment. All of these people are incentivized to tell you XRP is centralized and it's because they're trying to pump their own holdings that are not XRP. The more we look into this, the more we can see that all of this FUD is paid for. These people don't mean it. They will take it back the second they are no longer financially incentivized to push this FUD. And guys, just know they are all doing this because they're paid to do it. They don't actually think it's true. And honestly, the fact that companies in the crypto space even need to pay for FUD like this just shows you how powerful Ripple and XRP really are. So guys, now I want to get into something pretty wild pertaining to the Ethereum free pass. This is one of the most explosive things we have found in a while. Afterwards, though, I want to go over a little David Schwartz riddle that's been floating around the XRP community. So make sure to stick around for that. But guys, first of all, take a look at this. This is absolutely insane. This is from Documenting Ripple. Consensus had a press release from the SEC before it was released to the public and this press release was used to help give Ethereum a free pass. Guys, take a look at this. This is absolutely insane. This is from Stephen Hubert and what he is showing us here is that on April 3rd, 2019 at 1246, a member of Consensus tweeted out a new SEC policy pertaining to digital tokens. But guys, we can see from the metadata of the SEC website that the SEC didn't actually make this announcement public until about 2 in the afternoon. So guys, this means that Consensus actually had a SEC policy pertaining to cryptocurrency regulation before the SEC even made it public. Guys, what this shows is that the SEC was working with Ethereum behind the scenes, all while trying to figure out how to slam the door on other cryptocurrency projects like Ripple. The fact that they were getting such clear help from the SEC, meaning Ethereum, while other projects were being litigated against is absolutely embarrassing. And guys, the proof does not get more clear than this. The fact that this guy from Consensus was literally tweeting out SEC policy before the SEC ever even made it public is is absolutely shocking. Guys, this is perfectly in line with everything else we have seen relating to the Ethereum free pass and just further validates it. How is it that one company gets to craft legislation with the SEC, get to look at it before it's released while other companies are being sued? It's completely unfair and it just shows there is a whole nother level of collusion that will eventually get dug up, but it shows that there is so much deeper roots to this Ripple SEC case than likely we'll ever even know. But guys, it is crazy to me that people like Stephen Hubert are able to dig up documents like this because guys, this just just further confirms everything we have seen play out over the last couple years and honestly just proves all the haters like Charles Hoskinson's completely wrong.
So guys, I want to finish this video off by quickly showing you a David Schwartz riddle because we have seen XRP's price stagnate for a while now and he might be trying to give us a little hope here. Take a look at this. The other day he tweeted out, maybe this is the exhaustion talking after a week of going to bed at 1 a.m. and getting up at 7, but I feel more positive about Ripple's prospects and those of the entire crypto space than I have in at least six years. And guys, if we take a look at what happened six years ago on the XRP price chart, XRP was trading at less than a single cent. After that, and almost immediately after that six year mark, XRP went on a 228x increase. And guys, it's not just David saying this, it's not just Linda pointing it out. We also have Brad Garlinghouse liking this tweet. It's pretty rare we see Brad Garlinghouse like any of David Schwartz tweets. And I think it's pretty interesting that out of all of them, he chose to like this one. Oh yeah, all while Brad still has 589 followers. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much. And for now, Mickle out. <laughs>